Aquarius, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is going to be your reading, your monthly reading for the month of September 2021. And as always, this could resonate any day, week, month, year, any time you're guided to see it. And it's for anyone with Sagittarius placements or anyone else who's guided to watch the uh, Sagittarius reading. Anyway, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this Sagittarius reading for anyone who's guided to see it whenever they're guided to see it? Okay, you got go the distance, the fates, and soulmate. Wow. So the fates have stepped in to introduce you to somebody who is a soulmate. Um, and spirit says go the distance. The way they kind of fell, which I noticed was like soulmate hit the ground before the fates. So I have to wonder if, you know, you're being encouraged to go the distance with the soulmate and the fates are here like, um, overseeing it or they might have been the ones that brought you together or whatever something happened here where the fates stepped in but they're saying go the distance with this soulmate because this is going to be in your highest good i love it anyway let's get into it spirit and angels anyone the high spirit and angels anyone with the highest good please tell us. i don't know why i was <laughs> tongue-tied for a minute there uh, what do we need to know about this reading, please, for the collective or for Scorpio? Sagittarius. I don't know why I am all of a sudden. Damn, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Mercury retrograde's got my tongue. Uh, but you're the first. You're the last of my readings and the first one I've had issues speaking during. So maybe you're having a hard time speaking to a soulmate. Are you having a hard time talking to somebody? That's what it feels like because normally I don't have a problem speaking. So go the distance soulmates and the fates and now all of a sudden i can't say anything right are you saying something wrong to your soulmate or is there something you need to say to a soulmate that you've had a problem saying what is it there's something going on here because now i'm speaking fine and we needed to get that out of the way so let's see here spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading please for anyone with sagittarius placements or anyone else who resonates with this sagittarius reading what do we need to know about it please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most allow me to connect with as many people as possible and to accurately send through the messages they need to hear the most go the distance soulmates and the fates last shuffle all right so i feel like spirit is encouraging you to go the distance with the soulmate but i do feel like there's a, a communication issue five of wands what else do we need to know ah two of pentacles reversed three of pentacles reversed all right so yeah okay three of swords oh man all right what's going on here with sagittarius reading what do we need to know about whoa that flew out all right page of wands reverse that's you sagittarius what is going on ace of wands reverse oh my gosh all right so listen i have got to speak up saggies you got to get out of your daggone head <laughs> if it's not you it's them but i think it's you all right so Listen, you've waited for this for a long time. Wheel of Fortune reverse and Seven of Pentacles tells me that whatever this is, it's like your Wheel of Fortune that you've waited and waited and waited for, but nothing's being done. Nothing's being done. No movement. Wheel of Fortune reverse. No cycle change. Nothing new happening. It's just stagnant. Four of Swords just sitting still. Really, it could be healing from something, not really putting in any work. Eight of Swords tells me you're going to get out of your head, though, or you're starting to get out of your head because this is already happening. This is all just very current past energy. Like you are just now starting to get out of your head and you're trying to make a decision here with the Two of Swords and there's something hidden behind it to move forward. I didn't even see that back there. So you are getting out of your head and making a decision to move forward and what are you going to move forward towards what you're manifesting in this is someone who's manifesting them their ships to come in their wish fulfillment which showed up in your reading there's something here you are manifesting to come in and you're finally going to get out of your head long enough to make a decision and your that decision is going to be to go for something i feel like we have seven of chalices here and six of wands you clearly see what your wish fulfillment is you know it you, you took a minute to see it and you see it 
All right, now, the problem is we need to get you to actually go for it because I, I know you're having a hard time speaking to this person in some way. All right, for whatever reason, you've got the Three of Swords here with the dagger right through the cup in the snow over here. So you could be worried about like if I say something, the Page of Wands has trouble speaking, right? If I say something, am I going to get my heart broken? Are there other people involved? Five of Wands. D is this person seeing other people? Or, um, am I going to get hurt? And, you know, Ace of Wands over here. This is someone who's not, you know, taking the opportunity to go for this wish fulfillment over here. Um, this Ace of Wands is absolutely in your control. It comes with a decision. The decision to actually go for wish fulfillment and uh, go for what it is that you clearly know is success. There's something here that you see as your wish fulfillment. But to go for it, you're freaking out for whatever reason. I think you are afraid there's other people involved or you just don't know and it's freaking you out. Two of Pentacles says you're weighing it back and forth, but you're just not sure what to do. Three of Pentacles here reverse says I'm not working on it. Um, so you have to make a decision here to actually put the work in. For some of you, yes, you could have gone through some, there could be some kind of third party with the Three of Pentacles reverse and the Three of Swords here. I almost feel though, I almost feel like there is no three f third party involved. Um, but you think there might be, that's what this feels like to me. So you're just holding back and not saying anything. These are your energies right here. I'm not saying back. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm not going for it. If we could see the page of wands in the upright and the ace of wands in the upright, that'd be a great, that'd be awesome. That'd be me. That would be you going for your wish fulfillment. And guess what? Totally in your control. So you can flip this at any moment. Um, let me get you some clarity on this. Um, this was Silver Witchcraft Tarot. This was um, Wisdom of the Oracle. We're also going to use Everyday Witch. Oops, to clarify. Okay. The Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this reading, please? Sagittarius reading for September 2021 or whenever anyone is guided to see it here on YouTube. This reading is for anyone with Sagittarius placements or anyone else who's guided to watch the Sagittarius reading and resonates with it. What do we need to know about this reading? Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and to deliver the messages they need to hear as accurately as possible for the people who need them the most. Go the distance, soulmates, and the faiths. I definitely want to get two more shuffles in at least. Two more for Sagittarius. One more. Okay. Go the distance, soulmates, and the faiths. Let's find out. All right, so apparently Spirit must think this person is totally worth it to tell you to go the distance and that they've stepped in to help. What do we need to know about go the distance? Five of Cups. Okay, so this, I don't know why I'm clarifying go the distance. I don't normally clarify those up there. So yeah, so you're totally disappointed and Spirit says no. Don't sit around crying over the spilt milk. Do something about it. So you're being told. So there's a reason I was led to clarify that card. This is about you sitting around not doing anything about something you could actually do something about. All right. I just wanted you to know that. Um, let's get into, let's start with five of wands because this is where I normally start over here. All right. Five of wands. What do we need to know about this? Sagittarius reading five of wands. Nope. Way too many. Just one or two. Five of wands. What's important here? And this could be that you're, you know, worried that there's other people involved. This could be that you had an argument or a fight or some aggressive words were exchanged. Something could happen. Wow. Okay. So listen, you're going to get to a peaceful place and a healing ar about around this with the four of um, swords here reversed. Something about you guys had like some kind of argument or some aggressive words were exchanged or something. Um, tell me about Three of Swords here right underneath of it. What about the Three of Swords? Well, absolutely. So here you are moving forward like you're being asked to do to take action, right? 
Um, we've got here the Ten of Cups reversed and the Eight of Swords. So this is you, Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, freaking out about something here that's been disappointing, something you felt some kind of heartache about this, and Spirit's saying, would you move forward? In some way, they want you to move forward. Um, this is so funny. Look at the cat on the back of the broom. I never really noticed. The cat like looks like it's holding on for dear life oh my god that's so funny anyway so spirit i don't know what draw drew my eye to that i do feel like and look at you looking at some look at the dragon or whatever it is over there and the fire you're afraid that there's going to be an argument or something if you say something or if you approach for whatever reason. I don't know. It almost seems to me like you're trying to move away from an argument or something that happened um, in this situation. You're trying to figure out how to approach without a fight or without an issue. Um, let's get let's get two of pentacles reversed. Why is two of pentacles reversed here? This is you trying to figure out what to do. Yeah. Beautiful. Four of wands. Should I call them should i get together with them should i stop at their house should i which i wouldn't suggest i suggest that you talk it out first but uh should i come together with them in some way should i hey i don't know how close of a relationship this is but should we move in together should we you know come together bring our our families together maybe there was a fight about this or a disagreement or you know something like that and spirit's saying look Listen, it doesn't matter about the disagreement. Spirit wants you to go the distance, meaning work it out. That doesn't mean you get your way, and that doesn't mean they get their way. That means we work together as soulmates. Go the distance, work it out. Okay, I like it. It's nice, and the fates have stepped in, and this is all about people coming together to do things together. Not one person doesn't delegate, and one person doesn't push the other one around, right? It looks to me like there was something exchanged here that wasn't good. Um, all right, so let's talk about Three of Pentacles reversed. What do we need to know? Pen three of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, people not working together. Not working together. That's two soulmates not working together. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles reversed. What do we need to know? And I think I do. I have a strong feeling that this is why you guys had an argument. Three of Pentacles reversed or whatever it was. I don't know if it was an argument. I don't know. And again, there could be a third party. Tell me about three of pentacles. No. Ten of pentacles. Listen, there's four of wands, ten of pentacles on the table. If someone would make a decision to work with someone instead of... Blah. Wow. So Spirit says if you move away from the arguing, if you move into the peaceful energy of the... Um, four of wands here and make a conscious decision to move toward and peaceful energy of the six of swords these are my two peace cards right here if somebody would make a decision to move towards peace instead of aggressiveness boom ten of pentacles everything four of wands six of swords wish fulfillment with the star and a beautiful new beginning that's on hold over here but Someone has to make a conscious decision not to be aggressive. Tell me about the um, Page of Wands reversed. What do we need to know about it? Sagittarius reading. This is your energy. And it's. I have to be honest that, you know, if you're cross-watching a Sagittarius, this is kind of an immature energy. Page of Wands reversed, you know? Um, but it could be that you got... Listen, you are not going to be the first or the last person who got into a mature and ener immature energy, even if you're not an immature person. It happens, especially when you get into a fight or an argument with somebody. All right. Tell me about that's when, you know, people act like dum dums and then they come back and regret it later. Right. Tell me about the page of wands reversed. What do we need to know? Page of wands in the reverse. Oh, we got a challenge. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Okay, so we've got the... This really is not what I thought it was. Well, it is, but it isn't. This is someone who's afraid to uh, initiate anything. I'm afraid to move forward. I'm stuck in my head and afraid to actually move forward. Cause, and you're just living in the disappointment when you could have the Wish Fulfillment and you could have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands and the Six of Swords. 
but you got to get out of your head. This is an immature energy of I'm too afraid to approach. I'm too afraid to say anything. This is why we're here. We are sent to this earth to become stronger, more upfront, but not aggressive. I'm talking about honest, heart-centered people who speak our mind. Hey, I care about you. Hey, I love you. Hey, I'm not here to try and control your life. I'm here to just be honest with you. And I feel like it's you because this is your card, right? So someone's worried about, you know, saying something uh, uh, worried in their head about taking the initiative but there's success everywhere and wish fulfillment everywhere if you do all right let's look at the ace of wands here reversed what do we need to know ace of wands reversed okay there it is two of cups reversed absolutely this is what sits on hold for you that ace of wands is on hold with a partnership for you some kind of partnership right it's on hold not happening because someone needs to get out of their head and actually take an action this is part of your journey part of your lesson it, it, go the distance soulmates the fates some spirit has stepped in to make sure that you actually go the distance that you actually speak up that you actually get out of your head there's a purposeful reason for all this happening and it has to do with this is a huge growth growth moment for you a chance to grow in leaps and bounds tell me about the star what do we need to know about the star this is a chance for you to go from being page to king all right or queen depending on what's you know what you resonate as tell me about the star or at least the night right <laughs> let's step up at least to the night here um, being able to speak your mind, being able to ask, being able to um, just initiate something. Tell me about the star. And, you know, just the fact that you could initiate this, that you could come in and say, okay, I'm getting out of my head and I'm at least going to speak up. That takes you to knight status. That takes you out of page and, of wands in reverse and puts you in a knight status where you're at least willing to go in and make the offer. You're at least willing to go in and initiate something, right? It's all, it's, it, it gets better from there, you know, once you, that's a baby step. And then there's still that king status or that queen status and they're equal, you know, um, depending on which you resonate as really. All right, let's go with the star here. What do we need to know about the star? Sagittarius reading star yeah you're dealing with someone who has possibly aquarius in their chart or you have it in your chart or it could be um could be libra for me queen of wands or queen of swords is usually libra but it could be anybody really um uh, but it's getting cl oh it's clarity okay I, I see you have the clarity card at the bottom so this is basically you getting clarity on what your wish fulfillment is so this is not representing a person so to speak it could but really what spirit wants you to know is you're going to get some kind of clarity here about what your wish fulfillment is now when you get this clarity spirit says look don't just go with clarity go with action you need to take the action once you get clear and you know where is your ten of pentacles where is your four of wands where is your six of swords where is your soulmate and your go the distance as soon as you know spirit wants you to take an action I like it. It's a beautiful reading. It shows someone who's like basically growing up, growing up. Like we can see here, you're so freaked out about something. And listen, we all have been in page energy before freaked out about something. This is someone who got into page energy because they got scared. All right. Or they freaked out or they're not sure. My person might be with somebody. I'm afraid to approach. You'll never know if you don't ask. Right. Um, instead of being stuck in your head, they want you to baby steps, take your first step and become the knight and approach. Whether or not you're afraid, that fire breather and dragon, it can't stop you if you're the king. So this is your first step. Even though you're afraid and you're keeping an eye on the fire breathing dragon, you're still up in your head and you're trying to heal from something, but you're never going to be happy if you don't at least try because there's a ten of pentacles waiting for you. That's everything. This is a chance to work with a soulmate, to build together a home, a family, everything. The four of wands. I mean, 
Six of Swords, getting in the boat together, doing it together as, as a couple, together, as a family together. Um, but it can't happen if you don't take the initiative. And if you const if you don't take the initiative, your couple and your Ace of Wands stays on hold. It's just here. And, you know, there is an opportunity for your soulmate to meet someone new. But as we see it right now, Spirit says you are getting totally clear on what you want. You've manifested it in. Now make the decision to actually go for this wish fulfillment this victory they, they you put in a lot of work go get it all right your wish fulfillment is becoming more and more clear to you over here but it can't be yours until you get out of your head and take the action okay i hope this makes sense to someone if you're if this is not you it's another strong sagittarius i mean their sagittarius has to get out of their head and take some action everywhere i look here so, I mean, it really is you, Sagittarius, but let me know if it goes opposite way for you in any way. But whatever this is, whatever your wish fulfillment is, whatever your, whatever your two of cups is, I mean, it looks very romantic to me. I mean, we've got the four of wands, we got the ten of pentacles, we got the two of cups. We also have the ten of cups over here in reverse. The disappointment you've had by staying stuck in your head about something. And Spirit says, bust out of this. Let's go. Go the distance for your soulmate. And the fates have stepped in. And it almost feels like the fates are right there bringing the two of you together and pushing you and pushing you and pushing you. And it's yours to lose. In other words, it's already guaranteed. But it's yours to lose. That would be if you do nothing. Right. In other words, spirits already got this. You've already got this. It's already set up to be a successful, happily ever after. But it's not going to be if you don't actually take the initiative. Right. Because the action has to be taken to get there. It's not going to come knock on your door. Anyway, I hope this makes sense. I really, really enjoyed your reading. Did I grab you any of these? Let's grab you some of these um, angel cards. I don't think we did it yet. Angels, what do we need to know about this Sagittarius reading for anyone who's going to resonate with it? Oh, okay. Well, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to, well, let's just take them all. We're going to take them all. You're my last reading. Okay. So creativity and adventure. So listen, if you are freaked out about how to go in and do this, you know, Sagittarius, the, um, the, the wand cards are all about creativity. Find a creative way to approach this. Consider an adventure. I'm going to go in. I'm going to like, you know, Crocodile Dundee, put my heart on the line here. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to jump off the cliff, so to speak. And look at this, what shows up over here. These two cards of diving in, of taking the risk of jumping off the cliff, so to speak, in the way of love and trusting that it's going to work out. Look at this. Courage, faith, and trust. The universe has got your back. The fates have already set this in motion, but they need you to get in the right energy and in the right frame of mind and to actually take the action instead of freaking out. So, Everywhere I look, Spirit is saying, Sagittarius, we got your back, but this is your learning experience. This is your soulmate to lose. In other words, we, you, this is already something written in the, the Akashic records. You've already known this person. You already are set to come together in this lifetime once again. We've got this for you. It's uh, only you can screw this up. So have the courage and the faith to dive in regardless of how afraid you are. Trust that we got you, the fates got you, and consider it a fun, creative adventure. Find a creative way to do it, okay? Find a fun way to approach this person and do it. Anyway, guys, I hope that this made sense. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if this was a vice versa reading because it all pointed that Sagittarius was the one that needed to do this. Um, but you know, you never know. And I'd like to know if you guys feel it was vice versa, but don't slough this off, whatever it is, Sagittarius. I feel like you have an opportunity to come together with somebody really great. And if this is, you know, a decision 
If you don't even know this person yet, then maybe it's time to get out and meet them. Okay. All right. So keep that in mind. If you're thinking, but I don't know this person. Some of you right away are going to know exactly who this is. Others of you don't know this person yet. And that's what you have to take the courage and faith and trust and do and is go out and meet somebody. All right. I hope it makes sense. But for most of you, I do feel like you know exactly who this is. Anyway, guys, chime in down below. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great month. I'm still not taking on any more readings until I catch up on all the work I already have ahead of me. Um, so I will let you guys know when I am going to take on personal readings again. So hang in there for those of you that have been waiting. And I appreciate the patience and I appreciate the likes subscribes the shares the donations the ways that you guys contribute to the channel I really appreciate you all so so much it really does help don't forget to hit that like it helps the channel more than you know okay guys thanks so much talk to you soon have a great month bye